In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download IPVanish VPN to your Amazon Fire TV stick. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the Fire Stick homepage and then you want to scroll all the way across to the app drawer. From here, you want to scroll down and you want to click on the app store. Once you're on the Fire Stick application store, it will look like this. All we need to do now is to go across to the search tab and then you want to click on the search bar. And from here, you just want to search for IPVanish VPN. Once you've searched for it, it should be the first result and it will look like this. So we just want to go ahead and open up the store page. And from here, it's just going to tell you more about IPVanish VPN. So once you're happy, you want to click on the download button in the middle of the screen. And after a few seconds or a few minutes, IPVanish VPN will be downloaded to your Amazon Fire Stick. Once IPVanish has been downloaded, you just want to go ahead and open the application. Once you've opened the application, you'll be greeted to the login page and it will look like this. So you just want to go ahead and enter in your login details and log into your account. However, if you don't have an account, you can click on the link in the description below where you can go ahead and register for IPVanish VPN and get your account details. If it's your first time using IPVanish VPN on your Fire Stick, IPVanish will ask for a connection request. So you will need to give it permission to monitor network traffic in order for the VPN to work and to keep your network traffic encrypted. So if you're happy with this, you want to click on OK. Once you've accepted permissions, you now have access to IPVanish VPN where you can go ahead and start accessing servers from all around the world. To do this, you want to click on the connect button in the middle of the screen and this will connect you to the nearest and fastest server. However, if you want to connect to a different server, you want to click on the little location icon in the bottom left hand corner. And from here, you can go ahead and select a server of your choice. So you can either select the fastest available or you can search by server country. Alternatively, you can search by server city if you prefer. If there is a specific city you would like to connect to, you can scroll all the way to the top to the search icon, and from here you can search by country or city. For this example, we want to connect to a US server as we want to watch US Netflix. So I'm going to scroll across the countries until I come across the US country. So as you can see, we found the United States servers. So if we go ahead and click on that, it's going to give us a couple of options. We can either favorite the server, so it makes it easier and quicker to connect to it in the future, or we can go ahead and connect to the server. So we're just going to do that now. If there are multiple servers in that specific country, it's going to connect us to the nearest and fastest one. And as you can see, I'm currently in the UK, but we've connected to a US server on the East Coast, as that is the nearest one. So it's going to give us the best connection, which is what we need when we are browsing HD content. So all we need to do now is go back to the homepage and then we just want to view our streaming service of choice and in this case it's going to be Netflix. Once we are on Netflix, all we need to do now is to refresh the application for it to see our updated location. So as you can see on the help page, it says country, it says language and it says GB and that's because I'm currently in the UK. However, to refresh the app, we want to scroll all the way down and we want to click on reload Netflix. And as you can see, once Netflix has reloaded, the content has successfully changed and we can now start browsing and watching the US version of Netflix. So remember to click on the link in the description below to register for IPVanish VPN. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.